Hello and welcome to Love My Poland. Imagine, if you will, a day in the year where it's absolutely acceptable and even encouraged to consume tons of delicious sweets. Imagine a day in the year where it's okay to cheat on your rigid diet. Imagine going into any office space, any school, any public building, and just seeing tons and tons of donuts like these waiting for the taking. And again, nobody will say a single word. We're going to talk all about that today. I am going to do a taste test with you of a few of my favorite things to eat on this day and why it's so good and a little bit of the history behind Fat Thursday coming up. Now, if you're not already aware, Fat Thursday today is the last Thursday before a period of Lent or fasting in the Catholic Church. If you're not already aware, I'm not Catholic. I come from the Protestant Church. We have nothing quite like this in our church, so I've had to learn this kind of firsthand living here. If you know anything about Carnival, it's associated with Carnival. And in my experience and all my years, most people I know really get into this. They take this seriously. Whether they're true believers or not, it is tradition here in Poland, at least in Częstochowa. And they do. Pretty much wherever you go, you will find plenty of donuts, plenty of sweets to eat. And you're expected to kind of eat them. I've tried in the past saying, oh, I've had three or four, no thank you, but that donut just kind of gets stuffed in my face and I'll take it and I'll eat it later or just pretend to eat it. But this is a day where you really should get into eating sweets. And let's taste test a few things and show you exactly what flavors they have because the flavors are a bit different than flavors you would find in Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme back in the U.S. Now the first thing I'd like to share with you is a shocking piece of information. Would you believe that 12 filled donuts, ponczki like these, at the local Biedronka here in Częstochowa cost me 4 zlota and 99 grosza. According to the exchange rate, it's about $1.30, $1.35. for 12 ponczki. All 12 for just $1.30. That's impossible. I think one donut in Dunkin' Donuts cost well over a dollar back home. That is such a bargain. Now, a student of mine told me these are probably not the healthiest donuts to eat. Once a year, I think I can survive. I can kind of omit looking at the exact ingredients. So we'll start with this one first. We're going to taste test today a marmalade-filled Polish donut on Fat Thursday. Let's do it. So the first ponczek, the first donut we're going to try today comes from Biedronka. It's this dozen for $1.34.99. I've cut it in half. I'll show you what's on the inside. Delicious marmalade on the inside. Let's give it a taste and see just how good this one is. If I remember, this one's pretty sweet. The bread in this particular ponczek is very sweet. The cream or the fruit filling, the marmalade filling, is super sweet. This one's more of the American style. It's almost like a Dunkin' Donuts style donut from the past or Krispy Kreme that I grew up on. This one's not bad, but you know this is a supermarket donut. Not too bad, but good. The next donut up today is an interesting one. This one looks really delicious, and I know the filling of this donut is Advocat. Advocat is like an egg liquor cream flavor. And again, growing up in Texas and Alabama, never had anything Advocat flavored. But I have to say that I truly love this one. I've never had it though with the chocolate kind of sprinkles on top, the white sugary frosting with the chocolate. We're gonna cut this one open and give it a taste test today. The Advocat flavored one. Take a close look there, cut it in half. It's got the Advocat in the middle. Let's taste that and see if it's as good as it looks on the outside at least. Mm. It tastes like Advocat liquor. There's no alcohol in it, at least there shouldn't be, but really delicious. If you've never tried an Advocat Ponczek or donut, you have to. This is number one on my list. I love Advocat filling. The third and final donut I'd like to show you today is a Polish Ponczek that, first of all, you'll notice has very thin shavings of almond kind of mixed in with the frosting. And on the inside, there's something called rose hip jam. Rose here in Poland, wild rose grows everywhere. People make wine out of wild rose. They make delicious jams, of course, as well. And this is a taste that I think is a little bit acquired for me. My first experience with rose flavoring, I hated it. I couldn't stand it. I said never again. But slowly and surely throughout the years, I've grown accustomed to it and I have to admit that I like it. It tastes good. Let me show you what this looks like. We'll cut this one open. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how genuine the rose is on the inside here, but it's supposed to taste a little bit like rose hip jam. Let's give that one a taste. It tastes like you're eating 
a literal rose. I think that's the first thing. The bread in this donut is not nearly as sweet, but that's kind of a good thing because it brings out the flavor of the rose. And it really tastes like you have rose petals that are just kind of ground up in your mouth. You're chewing on rose petals. And it takes a while to kind of switch over. If you've never experienced that, you have to get used to it and, and try it. But it's good. Rose hip jam inside of a donut. Very typical Polish ponczek with that flavoring. The final sweet thing I'd like to share with you today is something in Polish called faworki. You cannot have a good Fat Thursday without both donuts and faworki. In English, they're called angel wings. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking, that doesn't help me, I still don't know what it is. Well, what it is is basically strips of pastry that are fried and covered with mountains of powdered sugar. I think, if anything, these are the sweetest things that you can eat on this day, in my opinion. And it's been probably two or three years since I've had favorki. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of these. I prefer the donut. But for the sake of this video, let's give it a taste test after all this time and see how they taste. Number one, they make a huge mess. Not good to have them during the class. They bring to mind two things. Growing up, we went to state fairs. You know, you would have the carnival rides, roller coasters here and there that are set up for a week or so near your hometown, and you would always be able to buy something called funnel cakes. It reminds me of funnel cakes a lot. Not as sweet as funnel cakes, but it also kind of brings to mind something called churros. 18 years I lived in Houston, and we have a large Hispanic community there, and you can buy churros around Houston. Remember at the baseball matches, we could get them. It tastes a little bit like that, but just without the cinnamony flavor. It's got a taste all of its own. So today, this was just a small sample of what's available on Fat Thursday here in Poland. I am aware that I have not mentioned everything. This is just the tip of the iceberg of what's available on the streets of Poland right now. These are some of my favorite flavors, but if I've forgotten to mention anything important, put it in the comments section so everybody else who's watching can benefit from that. The idea of this channel is to educate the world on what life's like here in Poland and really through my experience. Sometimes my experience differs from the experiences of others or how it is as a native to live here in Poland, and I'm aware of that. But anything that you have to say, any questions or additional comments, I welcome that. I love your comments. They're super. If you have not become a subscriber and you would love to see more of what I have to say about this wonderful country, go ahead and click that button so you don't miss becoming a subscriber. I would love to have you and I'd love to have your comments. Have a great day and enjoy the last days of Ostatki.